To access free topic sheets, worksheets, or to book an online class, visit ilearneasy.co.uk. The life cycle of an organism is the journey from the start of its life all the way to the end of its life. Insects can go through two types of life cycles, complete metamorphosis or incomplete metamorphosis. Complete metamorphosis consists of four stages. Egg, larva, pupa, adult. The life cycle of a butterfly is an example of complete metamorphosis. This is because the butterfly in its larva stage looks completely different from when it becomes an adult. First, a female butterfly lays eggs on the leaves of a plant. Inside the eggs, a caterpillar begins to grow. This caterpillar is also known as the larva. This is the worm-like creature inside the egg. When the caterpillar is large enough, it leaves the egg by eating it. The caterpillar must eat so it can grow. Once it grows, it splits its skin and sheds a few times. When the caterpillar has fully grown, it forms itself into a pupa. This is a type of vessel in which the caterpillar changes into a butterfly. The pupa of the butterfly is also called a chrysalis. This stage can last for weeks, months or even longer. Inside the pupa, the butterfly is growing parts of its body to become an adult butterfly. These include the legs, wings, eyes, etc. Once the butterfly is ready, the pupa splits open and the butterfly leaves and flies away. Now, the adult butterfly can mate and lay eggs to repeat the cycle. Incomplete metamorphosis. Incomplete metamorphosis consists of three stages. Egg, nymph, adult. The life cycle of a dragonfly is an example of incomplete metamorphosis. This is because the dragonfly in its early stages looks similar to its adult form, but it's much smaller and without wings. First, the female dragonfly lays eggs. The eggs are laid in or near water because they need water to survive. Eggs can also be directly inserted into stalks of plants. The nymph then hatches out of the egg. The nymph grows by feeding on aquatic prey. These include insect larvae, snails, small fish, etc. The nymph is able to breathe underwater through its gills. Most of the dragonfly's life is spent in this nymph stage. It can range from a few months to several years depending on the climate. In warmer climates, it can take a few months and in colder climates, it can take a few years. During this stage, the nymph will molt. This is when it sheds its old skin. The adult dragonfly emerges. It will wait for its body and wings to harden before it can fly. Once it's able to fly, the dragonfly begins hunting for food and will mate and lay eggs to repeat this cycle. Amphibian's life cycle consists of three main stages. Amphibians can go through two types of life cycles, metamorphosis or pedamorphosis. Metamorphosis means to transform or to change in shape. So the larva stage will look different from the adult stage. For example, a frog goes through metamorphosis. Pedamorphosis means an adult retains larval traits at the adult stage. For example, a salamander goes through pedamorphosis. 
Metamorphosis The life cycle of an amphibian that goes through metamorphosis consists of three main stages. Egg, larva, adult. The life cycle of a frog is an example of metamorphosis. The frog in its larval stage looks completely different from when it becomes an adult. First, an adult frog lays hundreds of tiny eggs in the water. These eggs are collectively known as frog spawn. Each egg looks like it's covered in a jelly-like substance. This is important because it serves to keep the egg moist, which helps it to survive. And it provides protection against predators. This jelly is also a source of nutrition, which aids growth. A tadpole begins to form in the egg. This is known as the larval stage. The tail of the tadpole begins to form within the egg before it hatches. This long tail allows it to store nutrients to feed on at a later stage. Once the egg hatches, the tadpole is able to breathe in the water using its gills. The tadpole begins to grow its legs. First its back legs and then its front legs. Alongside this, the tadpole's lungs begin to grow. This is because frogs need lungs to breathe on land. Its tail shrinks away and the baby frog emerges from out of the water. The baby frog is known as a froglet. The froglet continues to grow into an adult frog. The adult frog can then lay its own eggs to repeat this cycle. Pedomorphosis The life cycle of an amphibian that goes through pedomorphosis consists of two stages, egg and larva. The life cycle of a salamander is an example of pedomorphosis. This is because the salamander retains its larval traits even at its adult stage. Therefore, it doesn't change much from its larval stage. Therefore, it has adult traits even though it looks like it's still in its larval stage. In its adult form, the salamander can reproduce to repeat this cycle. The life cycle of a bird is simple. It consists of four stages. Egg, hatchling, chick, adult. First, the bird lays an egg. This is usually in a nest where the egg is incubated by one or both parents. The bird will do this until the embryo inside the egg has developed into a chick. Once it has developed into a chick, the egg is ready to hatch. The chick will then begin to crack the egg in order to get out of it. This can take a few hours or even a few days. The chick that emerges is fragile and can't care for itself. This stage is known as the hatchling. It will stay in its nest, relying on its parents for warmth, protection and food. In this stage, it's known as a nestling. At this stage, the chick is covered in soft down. After a while, the chick will develop features such as flight feathers and wing muscles. In this stage, it's known as a fledgling. The chick will begin to explore the outside world and over time it will become independent as it learns to fly and find food for itself. In this stage, it's known as a juvenile. As the chick grows into an adult, its features will change and it will be able to reproduce by laying eggs to repeat this cycle. A chicken is an example of a bird. So the life cycle is the same. The chicken lays an egg. The egg is then incubated 
until the embryo inside forms into a chick. Once the chick has developed, it will hatch out of the egg and be cared for by its parents. After a while, the chick will grow and learn to be independent as it becomes an adult. A mammal life cycle consists of three stages. Baby, young, adult. Humans are mammals. After fertilization, the baby fully forms inside of the mother's body. The mother then gives birth to their live young. The baby is fully formed and ready for the outside world when it's born. The baby born is very small in size but has similar characteristics and features to their adult parents. The baby is dependent on its adult parents to look after it. During this time, the baby feeds on the milk from its mother and learns many skills such as moving, picking up things, walking, etc. Over time, the baby stops feeding on the milk and transitions to eat solid food. During the next stage, the child grows bigger and gains independence. When a mammal becomes an adult, it's independent, therefore it can look after itself. As an adult, it can reproduce to continue the cycle. A plant's life cycle consists of five main stages. Germination Seedling Adult plant Pollination Fertilization When a seed is planted in the ground, or it falls from a plant into the soil, it begins to grow. During the germination stage, the plant will begin to sprout from the seed. The hard shell around the seed will soften and split open. The roots grow out of the seed downwards into the soil. The stem grows out of the seed upwards. It requires plenty of water, nutrients from the soil and plenty of sunlight in order to grow. After about a week, the shoot will appear above the soil. The leaves will begin to grow on the stem. As time passes, the leaves and the stem will continue to grow, becoming taller, wider and thicker. As the plant continues to grow, it may grow flowers that will then turn into fruits and make their own seeds. This is when pollination and fertilization occurs. Pollination is the process that ensures that the plant will produce fruit and seeds. This occurs when the pollen from one bloom is transferred to another flower of the same species. This can be transferred by the wind, water or by animals, commonly by insects. Through this process, the anther of one plant is transferred to the stigma of another plant. Fertilization is the process that allows genes to be transferred from the parent to the offspring. Fertilization involves the fusing of a sperm from the pollen grain with an egg in the ovule to form a zygote. The zygote then develops into an embryo. Over time, the plant wilts and dies. The seed head will dry out and will release the seeds. The seeds may be planted in the soil or will be dispersed by wind, animals, water, etc. This means the cycle begins over again.